Hi everyone, this is Ricky with Bromero Cards. I hope you're having a great day. Today's tutorial is going to be on two cards that I made using the Gina K. Marion Bright card kit set that she came out with last month. Some of the items we're going to use is Versamark Embossing Ink. We're going to use some holographic paper. We're also going to use a four and a quarter by five and a half 80 pound Nina cardstock, white, classic white. We're also going to use a 110 pound cardstock for the card base. We're also going to be using an embossing powder, or I'm sorry, an embossing folder. You could use any one that you want that's winter like. We're going to be using the Misty, some white embossing powder, your choice, any kind, it doesn't matter. And then we're also going to be using the stamp and the die from Gina K. Stett. This is the ornament. Okay, so here we go. The first thing we're going to do is take the embossing folder and we're going to place the paper inside of the embossing folder. I'm going to run this through my Big Shot. We're going to put this on tab one. Then we're going to place the paper into the embossing folder here. I, it takes me a little bit to line this up, but you can pretty much put it in any way you want. This is a thick embossing folder, so it only requires one plate. So I'm going to put this through on tab one. And then we're going to go ahead and take that out, make sure it looks pretty good, and then we're going to move forward. The next thing we're going to do is going to stamp out our ornament for our card. We're going to get the Misty, I'm going to place the holographic paper into the Misty, and then I'm going to use some anti-static tool powder to go ahead and get that stamped onto the card stock. Do that in a second. Here we go. Okay, there we go. So you want to do this so that the embossing powder doesn't stick to the paper. We're going to go ahead and ink up the stamp here and go ahead and press that down. And I believe I do this twice because it may have not been a great impression. It took me a little bit to pull up the stamp if you saw that. But I'm going to go ahead and stamp this again. I think I got a pretty good impression this time. And we're going to go ahead and take it out and go ahead and put the embossing powder on it. I'm showing you here, I, you really can't really see this, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then you see here, there's a lot of the powder that's stuck to the cardstock. All I do is take a brush and brush some of that off. Most of it's gonna be taken away when we do the die cutting, so we really don't have to worry too much about it. Plus the cardstock is holographic, so it's not gonna be too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and heat emboss this. Uh, this is sped up because no one wants to see heat embossing in real time, really. And then I'm gonna go ahead and line up the die. This takes me a few times here to do this, and actually, once it gets cut out, it's a little uneven, but we still work with it, it's fine. As you can see, I took the uh, tape there and put it on my palm so I could get it a little less tacky because we don't want it to rip our paper. I'm gonna go ahead and put this through the uh, embossing machine, or I'm sorry, the die cutting machine and go ahead and get that cut out. So then I'm just gonna take off the ornament here really carefully and make sure it doesn't tear, just in case. And then there you see that it, the ornament is cut out. The, hand, the string is a little bit off, but it's not too bad, we could still use that. The next thing we're gonna do is cut down the paper a little bit. We're gonna cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. Um, you can see me go back and forth with the paper. I just cut a sixteenth from each side so that, um, you know, that it's a little more even. So then we're going to take this and we're going to put it, place it on the card base. I'm going to use some 3M foam tape to put that onto the cardstock. But the first thing I'm going to do is arrange my ornament here. So I have it where I want it to be. And now I'm just going to get some glue and I'm gonna glue that on to the cardstock. Um, I probably would have done this a little differently, probably would have used some score tape maybe for this. Um, liquid glue sometimes doesn't work on cardstock that's raised like this. So I just put a little, uh, little time with the acrylic block so it can get stuck there and it's fine. I have just enough 3M foam tape here on this roll to do this card. I was so excited that I didn't have to open a new one yet. So we're gonna go ahead and place that onto the Nina card base. And we're pretty much done with the card here. Um, I think I'm gonna add a few embellishments here. I thought it was a little too plain. 
So I'm going to add some silver sequins or silver rhinestones actually uh, to the card. I believe this is from Katya. And you're going to see me place them here on the card. I'm using a jewel picker to actually do this. And my jewel picker wasn't so sticky. So I had to go and clean it off after I did this card. But, you know, it happens. We work with what we have, right? So I'm just placing a few along the card here. And then I'm going to, here in a few moments, you're going to see me take some glue and go ahead and put that down. We're going to be doing this at warp speed because this can be a little boring. But you're just going to see me lay some glue down and put the rhinestones uh, onto the card. And then I'll let it uh, dry for a few hours and it's fine. It's pretty much stuck. Uh, this glue is really good for this type of thing. And then you're going to see the finished card here. I'm going to hold it up for you so you can take a look. You could probably also add a few other embellishments, maybe like a string around the ornament if you want to do that, but that's okay. So I'm actually going to do another card here. It's going to be pretty much the same technique, except for I'm going to use black cardstock for this instead. And we're going to speed this up just as well. This is the exact same technique that I used for the actual last card, so there's really nothing different in this. Actually, I should have sped this up a little quicker, but we'll keep it in. As you can see, the black cardstock is really nice. Now on this one, I'm going to use what's called gilding polish. I discovered this when I went to a craft show, and this this stuff is interesting. It's kind of like a paint, but it's it has some gold tint to it. It's like in a white uh, paint, but it can do two read things. It can show really uh, really good on black cardstock, but you could also use it on a white cardstock. It's just not as obvious. So basically what I'm going to do is going to take this, damp it, stamp it down onto my working area and get a lot of the ink off. And then I'm barely going to use my hand pressure to apply this onto the cardstock. And as you can see, the em raised embossed part of the card is covered in this gilding polish. I think this is beautiful. It's amazing. I haven't seen anything like this before but it's really nice. And I got a bunch of other colors and later on in the video, I'm gonna show you a couple other cards that I made with it, or just the panels at least. Um, this stuff is super easy. It comes with its own applicator. It's easy to use. You don't have to keep washing it. It's actually great. And it comes up with water. So you just wipe it off your work area and you move um, ahead. So there you go, you see the cardstock there. I'm gonna cut this down also to the same size to four by five and a quarter. And then you're gonna see me actually take this gilding polish and run it around the edges of the card so that I could give it a little bit of dimension because I'm gonna be adding this onto a top of a five and a quarter, or I'm sorry, five and a half by four and a quarter uh, cardstock for the front of my card. So I needed this to pop out a little bit and having those lines on the outside of the card really helps with this. So now we're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna go ahead and stamp out this stamp again. Again, it's the exact same what I did earlier. Uh, it's just on black card stock and we're just gonna go super fast through this. Ink up the stamp, move the magnet because I had it way over too much. And then I'm gonna stamp this again. I usually always do it twice. My Versamark ink pad probably needs to be replaced. Um, some people say get reinker. some people buy new, say buy a new pad. I don't know which one to do. What should I do? What do you guys do? Uh, I think the price is about the same either way with a reinker or a new pad. Um, I think I'd rather have a clean pad. I'm gonna use some wild wow glitter embossing powder here. And I'm just gonna put a couple coats of that on here. And I think I did pretty good, and I don't think anything stuck to it, which is nice. And, I, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we're going to heat emboss this really quick. I always do this from under the paper when it's a glitter uh, embossing powder, so the glitter doesn't blow everywhere. Um, I find this is helpful, and it actually keeps the glitter on the image and not all over your floor. So take a look at that, it's a little shiny. You really can't tell in the video, but that's okay. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna take the die, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. I'm gonna line this up. 
And this came out okay too, not too bad. I think it's better than the other one. It's a little glittery, you just can't tell on camera. So now we're gonna start putting the card together and you'll realize soon here that I get a little stuck because the card looks a little flat when I start putting everything together. But anyway, first thing we're gonna do is use some liquid adhesive and we're gonna put this black uh, four and a quarter by five and a half piece of black cardstock on top of the card base. I'm a person that doesn't really use colored card bases. I would prefer just to put the color on top. I'm gonna set an acrylic block on that and we're gonna go ahead and start putting this part of the card together. And I had to bring out the big mama of three foam tape here and you'll see me tearing it a bit. And then this is where I start noticing, oh, the ornament is a little bit, it blends in too much to the background. So here I decided to put a little bit more tape on it to see if it was gonna help. And then I still noticed it just didn't look right. So I needed to add something to the card. So here you can see my fingers going a mile a minute trying to find out what I'm gonna do. And the first thing you see me do is pull out some vellum because that's one of the first things I always do. If I need to break up the card somehow, I'll put vellum out, but that, that didn't look right. Not with the dark card stock and the gold. So what I decided to do is go with this red cardstock that I believe this is from My Favorite Things. And I'm just gonna cut a thin layer of this, or I'm sorry, a thin strip of this. And then I'm gonna place it on the card and you're gonna see me go back and forth here trying to figure out where exactly I wanna put this red strip. But it does break up the card enough to actually, uh, for me to go forward. Um, I probably could have used something else if I had time to look around, but I did not have a bunch of stuff laying around. This is just a piece of scrap paper that was right next to me, actually. So you're going to see me here putting um, on the strip. I keep losing where exactly I should put it. And I put some runner tape on it and all the way across it so that I could use the back of it to go to the back of the card. And then this actually breaks up the ornament from the card a little more, and you can see that it's an actual ornament. So now you're gonna see me put in the foam tape here. I got a little crazy about it, and I cut out some thin pieces, but I really needed it to pop up off the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that on there, make it just right, and we have that part done. We're gonna go ahead and put the 3D foam tape here on the back of the card and then put that onto the card base that we have. I'm not a person that usually puts sentiments on the inside of cards, so you won't see me do that a lot, but um, you know that's just my personal choice. I would rather just have um, you know, just a plain card so someone can write in there. Here, you're gonna see me put in the exact same way on the other card. I'm just gonna put in some sequins onto the card the exact same way. And I believe I skipped forward a little bit of this. And then I just put a few here actually on the ornament as well. So I wanna thank you very much for uh, watching this video. I'm sorry I haven't got a lot of videos out lately, but I'm gonna try to work on that in the next few weeks so we can get a couple more out for you before grad school starts again. Um, here's the finished card. There's a little glue still on the ornament, but that'll dry clear. I'm going to pull the white one over also, and so you can see that one, and then a picture of both of them are going to be here. And here you're also going to see some card panels that I made using that gilding uh, paint, or gilding wax, or gilding polish, they call it. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel, thumbs upping, and all of that great stuff. I hope you have a great week, and please subscribe to my channel by clicking the big R on the screen in front of you, and click a few other videos if you'd like to watch. Thank you, have a great week. Bye.